Hey guys, my name's Jesse, my partners are Mark and Kirby, and our project is on the unscented Kalman filter. The unscented Kalman filter is an extrapolation on one of data science's seminal works, the Kalman filter. Developed by this guy, Rudolf Kalman, back in 1960, the filter is used for state estimation on dynamic systems. It works by first producing a guess at its current state based on previous knowledge and measurements. It measures its current activity and then calculates an approximation of its current state by summing the weighted means, which are weighted based on variance. What makes the Kalman filter such a popular filter is that the end result is statistically the best possible approximation of the system's current state. In the 57 years since the original filter was theorized, improvements to performance have been made. The original Kalman filter relied on a linear data set, making it difficult to apply to most data. The extended Kalman filter, developed primarily in the NASA Ames Research Center, applies the Kalman filter to nonlinear systems by mathematically linearizing them using Taylor series expansions and then directly applying the original Kalman filter. This increased the utility of the filter, but did not change its performance. However, researchers Eric A. Wan and Rudolf Vandermerve proposed a new solution, the unscented Kalman filter. The unscented Kalman filter is based on the unscented transformation. The unscented transformation collects statistics on data that has undergone a nonlinear transformation. It does this by collecting what are called sigma points, a set of points gathered heuristically to predict the system. Here's a diagram of how that works from the original paper of Wan and Vandermerve. As you can see, determining statistics by raw data collection is a massively taxing process. Linearizing the system to extend the Kalman filter saves time, but lacks accuracy in a serious way. The unscented filter, however, saves even more time and space, yet is remarkably accurate thanks to its complex theory. For our plus one element, we have created some data to state estimate. We first use the linear function f of x equals x. This is to show that even in perfect conditions, the unscented Kalman filter is still only an estimate. Second, we use the quadratic function to introduce a somewhat simple nonlinear case. Last, we gave it the function, the cosine of the sine of x squared plus the sine of 1 8 x cubed plus two. Needless to say, this curve is not linear or simple. In case you're wondering what the graph of that would look like, it looks like this. To fill out the data, we added Gaussian white noise with a variance of 0.1. In addition, for process noise, we trained a feedforward neural network using backpropagation to approximate the functions. The resultant mean squared error from the neural net was the variance that we used for the process noise for the function. This is the result of the unscented Kalman filter estimating a linear function. Note that it does not perfectly solve even this rudimentary problem and still contains error. It's very close, but the slope of the estimated line is not quite correct. The error is low, but certainly non-zero. Here is the result of the filter estimating a quadratic function. Again, the result is not perfect, but moving from linear to quadratic does not seem to move the error at all. If anything, the curves appear closer. The filter seems to handle the quadratic at least as well as the linear function. This cannot always be said for more simple versions which rely on linear or linearized data. Finally, here is how it performed against the sinusoidal abomination that we created. As you can see, it still performs at about the same level, even when confronted with a curve based on complete nonsense. This is the power of the unscented filter. With the heuristics it implements, it does not sacrifice accuracy even in a very complicated state. For comparison, here is that curve estimated by the original filter. The curve is in red. Notice how it sprayed observations all over the place, in blue, and how much work it did compared to the unscented filter. The estimate that it worked so hard for is in green. The applications of a tool like the unscented Kalman filter are many. From machine learning to curve fitting and across wide spans of data science, this filter presents endless possibilities. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation, and thanks for watching.